Hello my mom what's and welcome to this video of me making a BTS keychain. Please don't mind the horrendous lighting, I know it's very bad. But it's kind of a cloudy day, not a lot going on. And I do have a light stand but it's conveniently out of battery right now. So I'm using my room light which is not the best. Also you may have noticed I got a new camera, I will show it off. It is the Sony ZV-1. About a year ago, I saw that your mom actually uses the Sony ZV-1 or used the Sony, I don't know if she still uses it, but I saw that she was using it and I was like, oh my god, that's such a nice quality camera. And it was like a little handheld one, but it was black and I just, I don't know, I don't like black cameras. I don't really like black peripherals in general, like I just feel like it's too boring. Like with my keyboard, go and watch that video about my keyboard. It's nice and white and so... Actually, the Sony ZV-1, I had looked at it like a while ago. I didn't realize there was a white one at the time, or maybe there wasn't a white one at the time. And then um, I saw some random pop-up ad, which was for the Sony ZV-1F, and it was white. And I'm like, oh, that's a really cute camera. And then I looked it up, actually, the Sony ZV-1 does come in white. And I was like, oh, that is so cute. So then I was looking at it, and I'm like, ooh. And they, the, I saw the website had a sale for it. And I gotta say, I really like it. It's very similar, like, white to my keyboard like it's just like a matte white like it's like a soft f texture feeling kind of white if that makes sense I don't know probably don't. anyway so I got that and it's so cute I love it and apparently it does this like blur background thing as you may see it's a bit blurred but anyways this video is about me making a BTS keychain I pick up a lot of craft hobbies the most recent one has been keychain making this is my phone and this is a little keychain I made oh it's freaking out Zooms. Is that better? I don't know. I don't know how it's meant to look on the camera. I made that recently for myself. It says Lele, which is my nickname, short for Lena. And I also made one for my sister. I made one for my sister's friends. Um, and then my sister, I made one which was not really a keychain or anything. It was just kind of like, it was like a rosary kind of looking thing. Like it was just a bunch of beads together. That was my other sister. Um, but yeah, so I've been really liking that. I got like a little bead collection. So this is my current bead collection. I also specifically got some beads in colours. So I got brown beads because they look cute and then I got purple beads because I was thinking of doing a BTS keychain. Let me unblur the background because I can do that on this camera right now. <laughs> you can probably see it. If not, I'll just zoom in. This up here is from when I saw BTS live in 2016. I just happened to be in Tokyo at the time and they were doing a concert and I was like, oh, now we're gonna get tickets. But then I was like, oh, but it's BTS. So this was 2016. This was like before they went massive. Even at this time, I was thinking, BTS is so big, like I'm never gonna get tickets. Girls, this was 2016. I had no idea how much more competitive it was gonna get. So 2016, I'm just like, oh, I'm not gonna get it. But then I happened to just be like, okay, fine, I'll have a look. And there was like people selling tickets, like they bought it just to resell. And the resale was ridiculous, but I was like, mm -hmm. so it was like way, way, way at the back. Thank God they have the big one as the TV things. I think about a lot whenever I think about the story and I'm like, I was in the vicinity of BTS. Like that is just, I feel like, how did that happen? Like, that doesn't feel right. So, there's that. I also have um, a little, like, BTS shrine thing. Long story short, been in ARMY since 2015, and I love BTS. Eee. You get these cool, like, gadgets, and you're like, they're gonna work so well, because it's so advanced. My Rode Wireless 2 mic is just not working with the Sony ZV-1 at all. Like, I plug it in, nothing happens, it doesn't pick up any audio, so I'm just using the mic for the camera and then I also am recording the audio on my phone which is connected to the 
Rode Wireless Go 2. But it's like, come on, guys. I just want to plug in the Rode Wireless 2 to my Sony ZV-1. And I want it to work. And I want to use this mic. And I want to use this mic with my camera. With my new lovely camera. But no. It doesn't work. And now I have to troubleshoot it for like three hours or something. Like, come on. It's so frustrating. Like, I don't know. Having motivation to make these videos is hard enough. I finally get the motivation. I finally go to do it. And then there's this issue. And it doesn't work. And I have to, like, try and figure it out for, like, 30 minutes. And I don't figure it out, so then I just end up doing it on my phone. So who knows which audio is going to be better. I have no clue. But anyways, here is my BTS shrine. So this is my desk. And then above my desk, I have my BTS section. This is really cute. One of my co-workers, she knows, like, BTS. So she got me this little, like, coffee thing. And then this is just some random thing. This is not BTS. This, this is the little Jungkook poster... This is BTS. Behind it, I have the tiny tons. Oh god, no, it's falling. These masks are actually really good. Out of all the masks I've had, the tiny ton ones have been the most comfortable. I have, I think, two purples and one grey. The grey is the bigger size, so it's more comfortable for me. But yes, I definitely recommend those. This, my sister got me for my birthday one year. So this is really nice. So a bunch of masks. Uh, this is, the candles are not BTS. Neither is the rhino beetle or this guy but this drink is bts it's a bit hard to reach over there i think this is the one that i got for myself because after i like my co-worker got me this one i was like my god that's so cute and then i saw this one i was like it's jungkook and then i got it so that was a very long explanation but yeah i think i'm gonna get to making the keychain now for the keychain i did get these purple beads i've just kind of separated so I can sort them better. And I would usually make it in a an ice cream cotton lid. But the one I have is blue. So you can't really see the colors too well. So I thought today I would try doing it in a canvas that I'm just repurposing just for that function. Before I do start, I just want to show you. This is the top. I have all my kind of parts. Not the beads. But except for these ones which are my special beads. My favorite beads. So these are just the kind of attachments and then the second layer are beads these are my favorite they're like flowers they're so pretty these are just the small ones that if I do take them out they'll just kind of fall under the gaps anyway so I keep them in their packet and then these ones. Now the alphabet order, it's not really in any order. It's kind of just like what I thought would make even amounts. There's also some numbers, some symbols, and another one of my favorites, a froggy. So all the ones I've made so far have had frogs. I might use purple of these, but I do have a lot of other purple ones here that I would like to use. Also two I got these little clips, so I thought these would be nice to use for the BTS one. I haven't quite decided which I'm going to use. The star or the heart. I'll do the heart. I like the color of the star, but I like the heart shape. So it's a bit of a shame these ones went a bit darker, but I think I'll do the heart. I have been using like these kind of clear, I think the silicone string. I find them not that strong like they are strong but if you make a knot in it then the knot is not strong so i think i will just use thread i do like this color though i think i need these small not quite maybe i will try again tying the silicone string so this is a silicone string i do i like to have like a bit extra just so i can just cut at the end so this one i wanted to do it like bts and then underneath that on the other line would be what I hear. 
but there's no O. What? Where did my O go? I'm missing an O. Oh, what? It's right here. <laughs> How did I not see that? Okay, BTS bought her hair because it means I purple you. Oh yeah, I do have some purples in here actually. I've already designated some purple flowers. So I'm just gonna kind of put how I wanna configure it and then I'll start threading it through. A little bunny cause Jungkook's my bias. How good is this camera? It's crazy. I kind of like it when it's spaced out like small and big and then small and big. I like when the keychains are not too long as well. Like my phone one's pretty short. Um, just less risk of it like being pulled or anything. Now this one does have a cool kind of diamond one but Nah. Let's see. I like the big, oh, it's gonna be this way, big heart, bunny on this side. That looks good. And then this one at the top. Oh, there's a lot of big ones here. Should I swap them out with something? Do I add more white or just leave it? That's a good question. If I add more white, where do I add it as well? Maybe just down here. Let's try that. Let's have a go. Okay. Now after I've got the kind of configuration I want, I'm just going to think about where I want to put the knot. I wonder if I could just hide it in here and try that. With the clear silicone thread, it actually threads through really well. If you are using something thicker and it doesn't thread too well, like if it just keeps fraying, I use the silicone ones, the clear ones, thread it through the way you want. And just before I thread it through completely, kind of just put it right at the end. And then the clear thread weaves it through really neatly. But yeah, that's just a little tip I've picked up. A lot of the videos, when I kind of started doing bead stuff, I watched some videos and you know it's like that meme where it's like this is my art process start to finish start finish it kind of felt like that I was just like but like what string do you use how do you tie it so I don't actually know how to tie these too well like to make them secure because I feel like the silicone ones when you tie a knot it doesn't actually stay just because of the way like the material is it comes undone really like easily it doesn't have much grip to itself. Now that I've made it to kind of one side, like, so I'm going to tie it around here. I'm going to put this through. I'm not really sure if there's like. This is the first time I'm using this kind of attachment, so I'm not sure if it will look okay like that, or if it would look nicer a different way. Ah, we're just doing it now. It's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Because at the end of the day, you're doing something and you're making something pretty. Even if it doesn't look exactly the same as your reference or someone else's. Where is the hole for this dam? But yeah, so I don't know with craft hobbies, I kind of like to think of it that way. 
when I do a craft, I don't expect it to be exactly the same. I'm kind of just doing my own iteration of it. So it's not as stressful. Like I feel like with other hobbies, like with sports, it's kind of a way it's meant to be done. It's not like you play soccer and you play it your own way. Like this, you can kind of tell if someone's good or bad at soccer. But I feel like craft is a lot more forgiving. I feel like you can make mistakes and it's still going to be a cool piece of work in the end. Piece of work, that sounds really angry. <sighs> I feel like if you do craft, it's still going to be beautiful no matter what. That's what I'm trying to say. Unless you just really suck at craft and it's super ugly, and no, I'm kidding. Okay, so if I tie it here, is the BTS lined up? See, I want the BTS to be kind of in the middle of the border here, but I don't think it quite is. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of starts at the same time. It's not quite in the middle. So maybe I'll add some more up here. The silicone ones are good as well because when you want to kind of undo something and redo it, it's very easy with the kind of thicker string that I use. I like it because it's kind of stronger. It feels sturdier, but at the same time, Having to re-thread everything with thicker thread is a lot more time consuming. Whenever I make a charm or a bracelet, I do kind of redo it a few times just because I won't really know exactly how it looks until I've kind of done it completely and then I'm like, mm, actually, it's a bit too much on this side. Need more on this side. Hmm. Let's see how this goes. Okay, that looks nicer. I feel like it's a bit longer at this side now. So do I still want to add more at the end? Maybe I'll try putting a flower here. Are we feeling a darker purple or pale purple? I want the feel of this one. It's soft. Well, my camera's died, but I think this looks okay. Okay, so I've tweaked it around a little bit, but I think I've settled on this. I'm going to move the thread so I'm tying a knot under, like right before the big heart. What I've done is I tied two quite tight knots at the base of the big heart because the big heart has quite a big hole to thread through. So I've tied a knot and then I've taken one side of the string, threaded it back through the hole, and then pulled it a bit so that the where the actual um, knot is, is kind of stuck in here so it's going to be extra secure and then I'm going to thread this thread up this way this thread down here just so it's kind of less likely to fall apart it's kind of like weaving in your ends for crochet Okay, so this is the end product. I think it looks quite nice actually. Turned out pretty well. The tricky part is just getting the right kind of pattern you want. The style is quite tricky to weave in because the hole is quite small. But it still went through, so even if it is a bit squishy, the silicone clear string can go through. I definitely recommend tying a knot, squeezing into one of the beads and then weaving in the 
excess string because otherwise it is just easy to break easy to pull apart but yeah so that is the finished one i'll take some photos So that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe and comment if you would like. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!